Oh, hello. And welcome back. All right. So, I have started to get things out of the car from the world of Commodore. These two power supplies came from the batch of stuff that, uh, that I bought that I didn't intend to, well, I didn't intend to get anything. But, you know, things happen. So this one, it actually has a note on it. And I think it's going to be soon snipped. Oh, it says okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. We will see what it says. Aha. 5.19. That does seem pretty okay. It does. So, there is potential. But we'll leave that plugged in for a bit. This one had a note. Zero volts DC. And the 11 was 10.92. Well, if... If the 5 volts is 0, there is nothing to be done but cut the wires. And indeed, there's nothing there. So, we'll unplug it first. I don't want to cause any smoke or flames or short circuits. And we will behold the magic. Snippet of wires. Because it is not good. Oh, holy mama. One. Holy mama. I guess. Yeah. Good to get the wires down on the bottom. Alright. So. Another. At some point, I suspect what I'll do is get the wires off closer to the end so they can make fine edging for the garden. So, this can come off. This is like a cable tie thing. That can go. And these cords that I cut off will go over the door with other cords because it may be at some point they could come in handy and helpful for somebody maybe next year I will take them to the world of Commodore and put them on the freebie table I've often pondered there must be something worthy to do with them anyway let me just move some of the magical things from the show including this Radley's basic programmer's reference guide and yes, I just got a message today from Factor of Matt, Matthew Desmond, at www.factorofmatt.com. And, that, and that's Matt with two T's on Instagram, Factor of Matt. I have not looked at this yet, but I will. But right now, I think what I will do, because this power supply could be okay, I'm going to take this machine and get the video cable and get it free of any impediments and plug it in and the monitor is on and okay that end is all done up tight this end is free i think what i will do just before plugging it in one more time I'll check and see. We're still at 5.19. This is encouraging. Anyway, if I turn it on and it works, that's a good thing. If I turn it on and there's a weird thing about the screen, that means the 9 volts is squirrely, and I'll turn it off immediately. Let's see what happens. Ta-da! It's up. Five three two eight zero comma zero. Oh, five three two eight one comma zero. Change that. Oh, there's nothing. Print quote. World 
of Commodore. And I'll let that run in the background a little bit. So that seems okay. Now, what I should do as I peer around here is look for a black sharpie. And indeed, right on the back of it. Oh, yeah. Right above where all the things are. 5.19. That means that I have tested it and that it is okay. So that is a quick couple of things. So one cut, or not. The other thing I have here, I had this before, is somebody did open up this power supply. Oh, there's some parts linking around inside. Anyway. I'm not sure. Can I do this? There's some loose things in here. I really haven't opened one of these. But anyway, I guess the idea is if you get in there, see, basically, I guess they had them open. They had the power supplies. And then they, you know, I guess they tested them. And then they filled them with this epoxy goo, which just has a big crack in it. It does. But anyway, I guess people would then kind of dig through and try to. Uh, to make them work again. And when the stores back then were charging, um, I don't know if it was $69.99 or, or $89.99 from the power supply, I guess there was some value in trying to fix it. It's too bad that they went to these. And yeah, I think this one is going to, it's going to go, I don't think I'm going to hold on to it. It is, it's one of these ones. It's fine. But the kit, you know, it's, it's, I think I'll just be done with it. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'll send it packing because, well, I'm never going to do anything with it. And it's, it's been opened. It's not secure. This one that I just did, it's a little dusty, but it too can almost make, you could always cut the thing off and turn it into a trophy for somebody like recognizing their dedication to the world of Commodore or the Commodore community. There was, and I didn't get to see it lit up. There was a fellow there at the world of Commodore. He had um, cases like this that he had redone, and apparently they lit up. And um, they were new modern power supplies in the old case. And they looked, um, just in the little bit I saw, they looked okay. I don't think he came back on the Sunday, because I, I don't remember what else he was selling. But I think he pretty much sold out pretty quickly on Saturday before noon. And the thing only opened at 10. So, as he says, he never knows how many of whatever to make. And, you know, if you don't want to make too many, you get stuck with them. But whatever it was that he was doing, and I, don't, I know there were power supplies. And they looked like that, except the logo lit up pretty. Um, I don't know, and I don't know that they were in original power supply things. It may be they were 3D printed or something. They looked like this, but they were certainly different. Very different inside and perhaps outside. I didn't get a chance to see that much more, and maybe I should have. But of course, he sold out quickly. So, we have a power supply, and it seems to be happy. This one is from the 28th week of 1983. So it is now... A bit more than 40 years old. God help us. Anyway, well, there are more things to look at. More things to, like, extract from the car. Because I literally, I'm bringing in a very few things at a time. And then I will look them over. And then I will see what's what. And that is what I will do. So, I shall return to the car. Let's see what else. This would be... These power supply, yeah, I told you that these came with the batch of things that were on the hotel cart that I 
wasn't going to get, didn't intend to get, didn't really want to get. But here they are. So, good power supply. Made in Singapore. It's not a bad thing. And I know, nobody trusts the old ones. Nobody. And of course, there are those power 64 savers that will, of course, if it goes too hot, automatically not let the voltage through. Anyway, so far, so good. I will uh, keep on keeping on and uh, see what's what. And, and chances are, there are still people out there who, like, I think the power supply at the World of Commodore that this guy put together that was all pretty and lovely and stuff, I think in Canadian, it was, I think it might have been 110. And I know he puts a lot of work into it, and time is money, money is time. Um, and I know there's lots more out there. Certainly there was no shipping charges in, involved in these, because he was right there. You could just get it and take it. So, we'll see, I should investigate further next year. It would be nice if there was somebody there who had a variety of the different power, different people who had a variety of the different power supplies. And who knows, maybe there will be next year. Because once again, as I've said, I will do my best to encourage the people to put information about the 2024 show up with updates pending um, almost now. So people can plan, like vendors can plan, people can plan, dealers can plan. Um, that, you know, set aside the weekend. Don't book the hotel room. Don't book the flight. Just know, December 2024, we're planning on doing it all again. Indeed. Because, as I've said before, if you want an event to fail, don't tell anybody it's happening. All right. That's enough for now. I will slide this gently so I can reach up here. And we'll see you again. Bye for now.